Look, what do you think about this quarantine? Yesterday, I woke up, energized, and I'm like, I'm gonna do three YouTube videos today because we're home, we're not going anywhere. This pandemic quarantine thing has us just five people in our little 1800 square foot house. And all I can say is amen for that trampoline behind me over there because uh, that keeps us outside and exercising. Um, I thought it would be a great idea to do something very simple that I haven't done in a very long time. Because I'm usually working, my client work pile usually stays, you know, fluffy and I'm always busy having to do work. So shooting for myself kind of gets on the way back burner. I thought it'd be kind of cool that the sunflowers that I just bought last week to kind of lighten the mood, kind of brighten the house a little bit. Um, they're not gone yet. They haven't deteriorated. They're not, they have not passed as we say. Um, I was like, let me do a one light challenge. You know, granted, it's kind of cheating because I do have a nice LED panel. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a great one light to use. However, you can get that exact same effect with um, a, a small window light coming in. If you want to use your light on your phone, put a piece of tissue in front of it. Maybe it'll diffuse the light a little bit. I don't know. I want to see what you do on our Facebook group. So go over to Focus with GK and share your favorite image, you know? Um, the fun part about this little challenge, and the reason why it's a challenge, is you'll realize what happens to the shadows, you know, when you have that one light source. And the reason why I used only one light is because you have one sun. And when you go outside to photograph flowers or trees or landscape or whatever it is, you are paying attention to, you know, there's always a time of day or maybe a weather condition that looks really cool. Or maybe it's harsh light and it's like, Ugh, what, what do you do? So for me, photography is honestly where you put in the shadows. You know, how are you creating that texture that you want to do? That's why this challenge is important for you. Only having to worry about one light source, I think becomes easier to for you to see your results, for you to kind of see when I put the light over here or when I turn my subject, whether it's the flower, the wine bottle, or the block of cheese, I don't know what you have in your house, but turn it, you walk around your subject, find the angle you like, and then figure out how does that one light source work, where, and why. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So anyway, I'm anxious to see what you guys put up on the Facebook group, and I will absolutely be showing you some more um, images that I have from just one light source. And uh, most importantly, it gives you something to do. You know, you're at the house, you might as well educate a little bit while having a little bit of fun. Yeah, you can do this with your iPhone. Um, just be aware of the settings on there you know most phones want to expose for everything and that's the problem so if you've got some kind of a little app where you can manually make your exposure adjustments here and there that's how things will absolutely work so I had a sunflower and these are some of the images that I got out of it It's not my fault You've been lying saying that I took away your peace Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me Like you have no options I ain't take your options Now I'm not the problem Man, that's on you, yeah 
You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always wrong. I knew you lost your mind when you dropped that bomb. Girl, are you crazy? Yeah, you must be crazy. I've been thinking lately, lately it's... Not too shabby, huh? I love black and whites. Love. What I, I've always enjoyed and learned about black and white photography is that your eyes are very distracted by color. Your eyes want to read and decode all of those colors, which is why it's so important in color photography where you put the image where in the one-thirds, how are you showing the story, what's the most prominent color in the image, it should be your subject, um, that's how your eye will read to your subject. Black and white photography takes all those colors away and to me it shows texture, subject, and mood. Like those emotional candids on a wedding, black and whites. All you see is the emotion. Your eyes won't go crazy in the background looking at background colors of the room. That black and white lets your eyes only focus on what the photographer is taking a picture of. That moment, that thing, whatever it is, that landscape, the building at night, it doesn't matter. Black and white to me is awesome and it's also the best way to learn how to do this one light challenge, honestly, because you yourself as the photographer will see things differently when you're staring at a black and white image compared to a color image. It's just, it's just true, which is why I love black and white. The elevated part of shooting in black and white is that it does take everything away except your subject matter. That in itself will make you a better photographer. It'll make you pay attention to how am I lining up my shot to tell this story. So I'm just curious, the colors behind me, are they distracting? How about now when I go to black and white? Do you kind of concentrate on me a little bit more? It's like you notice what's back there, but your eyes aren't staying on those colors. Maybe it's calling your eyes are staying on my face since it's the brightest part of the scene. Pretty cool, huh? All right, I gotta practice some social distancing. I need to uh, get on a wedding I did last weekend, try to get it done, but I will see you in tomorrow's video because I have a whole lot of time to create, and what better way than to help motivate you, show you some creativity, and absolutely, man, we are in this thing together, all right? So stay focused on your dreams. Just because we're going through this does not mean you need to lose sight, all right? For the first time ever in my lifetime at least, the entire world is in the exact same situation with COVID-19. This is ridiculous. I mean, absolutely ridiculous, but very serious at the same time, all right? So yeah, GK out. Peace.